I should probably equip their armor. So he wears bracelets instead of armor. Because <laughs> he makes good decisions. Okie dokie. Uh, I think we want to go up here, actually. Oh no, imps! How depressing. Imps. Imps, ghosty. Imps. You're so snug. I don't know where my fast forward button is on the simulator, or else I would fast forward this. Sorry. I'm using a Nestopia. It's really nice. It's what I was able to play Doki Doki Panic and a couple other Japanese ROMs on. Uh, like 100 World Story and something else. I can't remember. Ooh, 7 experience and 30 gold. Hot damn. Eh, if we get a chance, we probably... There's one spell from Provoca that wouldn't be bad. Screw this fight. Um, getting mute wouldn't be terrible for hugs or invis. They're not necessary. They're overkill as far as protective magic, but they might not be a terrible idea. Dead wolfie. Also, the thing with the silver sword is his accuracy is going to go up a lot higher, so he's going to hit more often, hence why he's hitting two times. The uh, level 4 black magic spell, Fast, will make him hit about 4 to 8 times every time he hits, which gets retarded. Yay, everybody leveled up! Eventually the white mage probably will have more hit points than the black belt. That'll be about the most depressing time of his life. Ah, magical music. To sell us be Hussup, a magic spell? Tacellus B. Hussup? Hmm, fair enough. Tacellus B. Hussup. Well, the brooms don't seem worth talking to. Those are brooms, by the way. Ooh, free pure. Free heal? More heal. Let me guess. Tacellus B. Hussup? Where is my crystal? I can't see anything without it. Who stole my crystal? Now, once we bring her her crystal, she will give us the herb to heal the prince. She will also say, those silly brooms are talking backwards again. Push B select. That was a cute way to put this into the game. I will show you what the this is. Boop. By God, it's the map. This is us right here at Matoya's Cave. This is Conaria. This is Provoca. This... I can't remember the name of it. But that's the, where um, they talked about the sage Lucan going. This is Elfland. This is the Marsh Cave. And this is Astos's castle. Oh, this... this right here. This sucks. Really bad. Up here, there are no ports. We cannot sail to the Northern Kingdoms. We will have to find another mode of transport. Let me get rid of the mouse. Okay, so we got some free loot from Matoya, too. I forgot about that. I should have done this earlier, except it is kind of a pain in the ass when you don't have fire, too. I don't feel like fighting you guys for seven experience points. Just for giggles, we'll go ahead and go loot the Temple of Fiends, because I forgot to. Keep wanting to call it the Temple of Elemental Evil. Also a fun game. I ran that campaign a couple times. No one made it to the actual temple. Ooh, more Kaizaku. Yes, please. <laughs> there you go, ghosty. Happy boy. Happy boy. Get his tummy. Get the Kaizaku's tummy. Ghost is an evil Japanese pirate guy. So yeah, these guys show up every now and then, and that's about as dangerous as the water monsters get, as the sharks and the sandhawks. Well, for now. I mean, I guess there are more dangerous water monsters later, but not in the ocean. The ocean stays pretty much this lethal. And just because I'm in too early, we'll go ahead and check out the Temple of Fiends. 
we'll save here because it's only 30 gold real quick. Get that Fire 2 spell back. Hmm, there's one more thing I wanted to show off, so I totally forgot. In the Castle of Canaria. Hmm, where is he? I think he might be in this room. I think. No, this is. Thank you for saving Princess Sarah. There's an invisible person somewhere. I can't, just can't remember. There he is. So, you're the Light Warriors. This is something about saving Princess Sarah. The loot can break the evil gate. We have a loot. And those two rooms by the old man are locked. I really need this key. And there's a room in the Dwarven Kingdoms that is locked. I think that's about it for locked doors. There's only so many doors that can be locked by one key. Good lord. More amps. Not in the mood for you. And Knight gets 200 points. Lovely. Ponies? Oh no! A single gray imp! We're doomed! Maybe not. a ghoul. Ghouls are pretty easy. No. Ghouls are the hard ones. Zombies are the easy ones. I think it goes zombies, ghouls, and geists. There are geists down by, um, Elfland. Paralyze is bad, but they really hate silver weapons. Yeah, that's not too bad. If you're confident, you can do a little leveling up in here. Skeletons are kind of negligible. Zombies and ghouls aren't bad, and the White Mage's Harm spell will hit everything. Problem being, a lot of them aren't worth killing. <laughs> These guys. They have like, five hit points. They're slightly less impressive than imps, but there's treasure in each of the four corners. Well, in three of the four corners. They have a cap. Eh, well, we can get with a fighter. He doesn't have one right now. Take the treasure where you can find it, guys. Yay, more skeletons. Boom! I guess these are plural, they would be bones. Perhaps they solve murder mysteries in their off time. I love the music in this game. It's just so iconic. 60 bucks. I will definitely take a free heal and a cabin. Cabins are like tents in uh, Final Fantasy 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 and 8 and 9. Zombies! Oh no, they're everywhere! They're cool. They look like crazy guys in trench coats. Kind of like uh, Tim Robbins in uh, a Tenacious Team movie. Come over here so I can stab you! Um, no. Beat him with your nunchucks. Yay! The last vestiges of stuff Wimp can kill. Aww. I missed missed a key. I don't even think there's anything worthwhile in there. Another ghoul. You know, just for giggles, set him on fire. Yeah, definitely, since Mike's stunned. Oh, never mind. That'd be Raffle having that silver knife. Now, there's another version of this. If you play the PlayStation version... Oh, son of a bitch! The PlayStation version, and I think maybe the Game Boy Advance version? Instead of having... Um, these aren't poisonous. Instead of having the spells per level, like a D&D wizard, you know, like the number of spells per day, you actually have magic points. 
and it really breaks the game. <laughs> because you can just 